Welcome back, my name is Kerry, and today I'm taking you behind the scenes at an East Coast prefab home builder. Let's go take a look. After many, many requests in the comments, last weekend I hit the road to visit a prefab home that's available on the East Coast, and I was a little bit caught off guard. This is a company I've been following for quite some time now, and my plan was to roll in and get the footage of the Villa Studio that I know and love, until I was thrown a curveball. I wasn't more than 35 to 40 steps inside the building before seeing something that I hadn't seen before, blindsided by a new model. So here we are again with another video. The timing of the trip ended up being perfect because not only did I get to see the prototype studio, but I also got a behind the scenes look inside their new factory and of course the new model. On top of that, I was able to chit chat with their CEO about future expansion plans that are already in the works. The company I'm talking about is Tomu House with their line of modern prefab homes that are easy on the eyes and available now. What I'm gonna do is show you their brand new model, check out the facility and get into their pricing. For those of you who haven't heard of Tomu House, you might want to consider subscribing to the channel and turning on notifications because, well, you're falling behind on what's available. With the addition of the new model, what they've got now is a line of prefab homes ranging in size from 253 square feet up to 1,380 square feet, all being built out of their factory in Maryland. For 2024, they're transitioning their models to the second generation modular architecture system which is just a fancy way of saying that every one of their models is getting a little bit bigger. The studio goes from 480 to 506 square feet. The one bedroom goes from 864 to 874 square feet. The two bedroom goes from 1,344 to 1,380 square feet. And of course, we've got the new junior villa. That isn't the only thing new happening at Tomu House. They recently moved into a new to them facility at the Hagerstown Airport to begin production of their line of modular homes that I personally think have a very cool signature look. The space is 15,000 square feet and the way they have the current production line set up, homes are started at one end of the line and moved through stations until they're eventually punted out the door at the other end ready to be delivered. It was interesting to be able to see the process early on because as things ramp up for Tomu I think they'll outgrow the space fast and fully expect to see something completely different next time I'm out there. In fact in a sit down with their CEO Chris I found out they've already secured the space next door. Here's what he had to say. I want to talk a little bit about the space that we're in. So we're in an, an airport hangar. They used to build airplanes in here. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah, back so, during World War II. That's cool. So this, to my understanding, is 15,000 square feet. And there's a neighbor here that looks to be selling granite or quartz. What's going on with that space next door? Yeah, so we moved into this uh, space. Just this is a new space for us. It's uh, We're a month and a half in and we're still getting uh, set up in here, but we're already starting to build and deliver our uh, our first order. So uh, the neighbor tenant, he'll be moving moving out. So we'll be assuming his space, and then there's some additional square footage uh, that we have room to grow into as the orders uh, come in, and we have to expand our assembly lines. So you can grow east to west and north and to north south, and, or whatever direction that happens more, to There's be. a few more hangar bays even beyond those walls that. Uh, uh, I mean, there's tens of thousands of square feet that we have to uh, to expand into. Oh, that's amazing. So when you get this space next door, what is that going to do to the production line? Uh, once we get the, the next space and we can really fully set out our, our production line, our system is basically built off of two different module sizes. So we'll have one line that produces one size and another line that produces another size. So that kind of really maximizes the efficiency of our system. I'm excited for them. They have the ability to increase the factory space as needed in the same building. I'm not a factory expert by any means, but to me it seems like being able to access attached space is a far better option for a company than picking up and moving to a completely different building or adding a second small factory nearby and running between the two. With that being said, a brand new purpose-built facility is probably the best option, but this is a close second. The best part about this option is the extra square footage is there when they're ready for it. They don't have to increase their monthly rent until the output and income support it, which I think will allow them to grow at a comfortable pace. By far the biggest surprise of the entire trip was the announcement of the Junior Villa which has a footprint of 253 square feet. The Junior Villa has dimensions of 22 by 11 foot 6 which is cozy but they have made good use of the footprint 
and I think people will be excited about it. They didn't have a finished junior on site, but they had something that was pretty darn close and I was able to get up into it and have a look around. Something I wasn't expecting to see when I came here today was this model right here known as the Junior Villa. This is 253 square feet and what it's got is a full bathroom. It can have a kitchenette and it's gonna have a sliding glass door when it's not being used just for show purposes. They don't have this one finished yet, but the idea here is the bed would be over there. Kitchen down here, you can see they've kind of got it taped off right there. There'd be a door on the end, and then in here, that's where they'll have the full bathroom. So it's kind of a cool little space and something that you could put side by side by side if you're into the hospitality game or even as an ADU in the backyard. Picture this, you've got the bed right here, looking out at a sliding glass door. Off to your left, you've got a little kitchenette. And then over here, off to the left, you've got a full-size bathroom. 253 square feet isn't a huge amount of space, but it's got all the essentials if you think about it. Kitchen, bathroom, somewhere to sleep, hang a TV on the wall, Good to go. The exterior of the Junior has the same cypress cladding that's on their main home and looks awesome. I don't know if everything they do will have the same exterior, but to me, this is definitely their signature look and I like it. Tomo definitely leans towards hospitality, having a background in that space, but that doesn't mean that they'll only deal with people or companies in that industry. I asked them. They'll sell to people who are looking to use their junior villa for whatever it is they want to use it for. The use that probably makes the most sense to me outside of hospitality is an ADU. This would be a great structure to add to a property for more living space in a small footprint. It's more affordable than the rest of their line and was designed in a way that it could be installed side by side for those looking for multiple units. If you look at the floor plan, the only real change that would have to be made is removing or moving the sliding glass door out of the bedroom and two or more units could be put side by side, which then opens up all sorts of possibilities for use. The way the plan is set up, the main door is on the end of the unit into the kitchen. The bathroom is on the left, which has the usual shower, toilet, and sink. From there, it opens up into the main part of the home. It's a studio, so the bedroom doubles as the living room, and I think this is a nice little addition to their model line. Again, for those looking for something in that smaller footprint range. For anyone sitting there thinking, that's super, but I want more than 253 square feet, I'm not gonna leave you out to dry on this one. Hang you out to dry? Even though I didn't get to see two of the three in person because they haven't been built yet, they do offer larger models. The Studio Villa comes in at 506 square feet and was the subject of the last video I made about Tomu House. The one bedroom has a footprint of 874 square feet with one bedroom and one and a half bathrooms. I'm currently living in a one bathroom place and it works, but there have been a couple times when a half bath would have made life a lot simpler. I'll leave it at that. In the one bedroom, half of the home is living room kitchen and the other half is the bedroom ensuite. The hospitality influence shows in the size of this ensuite. It takes up almost a quarter of the floor plan and appears to be very spa-like. If it's anything like the bathroom in the studio villa, and I think it will be, it'll be a slam dunk. Finally, they have the two bedroom model that comes in at a whopping 1,380 square feet and is a combination of the studio and the one bedroom. Seriously, check it out. They put the two models together to create a two bed, two and a half bath home. I'm a visual person, so right now, if I had to pick my favorite out of everything they got available, I'm going with the Studio Villa. We'll have to wait and see if that changes when they get a few of their larger models built and I'm able to get back over there and have a look. Before I wrap this thing up, I am gonna get into their pricing, but keep in mind prices can and usually do change, but will be accurate at the time of posting this video. The Junior Villa starts at $85,000. The Studio Villa starts at $145,000. The one bedroom villa starts at $235,000 and the two bedroom villa starts at $325,000. They're currently taking orders for the new year and as things ramp up, they've got the space to expand. Tomu House is a prefab home builder near the East Coast that just expanded their product line with a new model that'll be available for 2024 delivery. This brings their total offering to four models that cover a wide range of sizes, so a little something something for a lot of people. I'm excited to see the new models come to life, so I'll be following following along with what they're up to and posting updates right here on my YouTube channel. That's all I've got for today. If you like manufactured home videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel because I've got new ones coming out every single week. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.